So here I am, driving home at, well, it's not actually 12.06, but it's actually literally one minute before midnight right now. It's actually really hard to do this. I really wish that I had like a, like a, uh, some, side, like some type of mounting device for this so that I could do this, but whatever. So I just got off the phone with my mom a couple minutes ago, and uh, she told me that something came in the mail that I need to come take a look at. Luckily, I was on my way home anyways, so that made it a lot easier. So we're gonna go check that out. If it's what I think it is, you guys are in for a real treat tonight. So hopefully this is what I'm thinking it is. And you guys are actually gonna get to see the drive to my house. Even though it's not really important, but that's okay. Because that's just how the world works. Even though you can't really see much of anything from what I'm seeing here because it's dark as shit outside, but that's all right. Kaiser, gay town, that's where I live. It's not where I, it's not where I was born but it's where I live now. I actually was born in Salem, which is pretty much the non, well, it's pretty much like the non, um, like, suburb version of Kaiser. I mean, there are definitely plenty of living arrangements in Salem, and it's the much bigger part of it, but technically, Kaiser's like the, uh, it's like the little brother of Salem, so I moved here when I was an astounding, I think I was like, a, what, like 11 years old, I think? So I lived in Salem for a long time, and then I moved here. I lived here for about 10 years, and then I moved out and did the whole, you know, oh, I'm 21, I gotta move out and do my own thing type of deal. But now I moved back in, as you guys already know this already, I did that video back in September last year. Oh, dude, that's pretty tight. Look at that lens glare, that's actually pretty sick. I love when that happens, when you get cool things going on like that. So, yeah, if it's what I think it is, this is going to be great, because this is going to vastly impact the way things happen in my life, and possibly even yours. And I think that for people that have been, like, kind of keeping up on what I have been doing lately, you're, you're probably going to already know what this is. For people that have been following me on Twitter, even though there's about eight of you, and for the people that follow me on Facebook, which there's approximately about... Well, there's, a, there's, spo there's supposedly about a hundred and something or other, but only about ten or twelve of you really religiously follow that, which is fine. I mean, you know, as long as I'm getting the point across to somebody, as long as, you know, people are enjoying what I, what I say and do, that's all that really matters to me. We're going to take a right here on 14th Avenue and Kafer Drive, even though I'm not going on Kafer Drive because I'm not. Oh, yeah. So I just, I actually just left the gym not too long ago, not actually at midnight, because the courthouse closes at 10.30, which kind of sucks, but it works, it works for my schedule, but I am going to be so sore on Thursday, I won't be sore tomorrow, not at all, I'll be like a little bit sore tomorrow, but the second day is always way worse than the other one, because it, all that lactic acid builds up, man, my arm's already sore just holding this damn phone up, I gotta, I gotta rest it here for for a mix second. Sorry if the, the camera's like, you know, fluctuating all over the place. I'm kind of like trying to lay low because on this drive home, I've literally seen like four cops and I definitely almost was stupid enough to drive, you know, about 85 past one. It's a good thing I noticed that he was there. He was trying to play the the old snake in the grass with his little, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide on the side of the freeway and, you know, with without my lights on and nobody's gonna see it and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fry their ass. But I saw him from a distance and I was like, haha, you got it. Not gonna fall for your little game there. This house right here, actually, when I was in high school, we used to do, uh, we used to have breakfast over there. You probably guys probably can't even see that. But I used to have breakfast over there like every Thursday. Uh, we'd like hang out in their basement. It was for uh, when I used to be in Young Life and all that jazz. And all that jazz from Chicago. I've never actually seen that play before, but I've heard that excerpt from that song before. I actually have the air conditioner on in my car, which is really stupid because it's like 40 degrees outside anyways, which, you know, by my standards is a little bit chilly, but I'm doing this because I definitely tried to make a video like this once where I was just driving around and my iPhone definitely overheated to the point where it had to turn itself off. So now I have my air conditioner blowing on the back of it to keep it from overheating again. Oh yeah, we're getting close to home. McNary Estates, I had a lot of friends that lived in there when I was in high school, but I'm, I don't live in there because I'm not rich out of my asshole, so that's not how that's gonna happen. So actually, you don't have to be like super rich to live there, but you know, people that live in there definitely have more money than I do, so 
That's how that is. There's actually a lot of nice houses there. My friend Maddie, that you know, I do a lot of collaboration stuff with, and you guys have seen me do like stick with me cooking videos and stuff. He used to, uh, his parents used to live in there, but they moved out and they built their own house out in the middle of nowhere. So that's what that's what that's all about. P.S. We're almost home. In case you guys are wondering, like, oh my god, why is he just filming him driving around like a jackass? Don't worry, we're almost there. I'm just, uh, I don't know if my parents are going to be awake or not. Usually my dad, when he gets home, he usually eats, sits down and watches TV and passes out. But it's still pretty early, so there's a possibility he might still be awake. I think my mom's probably still awake, too. So you guys might get to meet them, because I don't think that I've really, I don't think that I've ever caught video of them before. For you guys to see, we're going to catch them in their, in their native element of being probably in, like, pajamas and or like sweat pants and a regular tattered t-shirt watching probably ESPN and or whatever's on I don't know something I don't even know I don't even know what's on on Mondays American Idol maybe I don't even know I, I don't watch it okay here we go here's my neighborhood at the nighttime you guys have seen it during the daytime before at least once I'm surprised there's no cops in here there are literally within my house like where my house is, within like four blocks, there are literally like eight cops that live in here, so not the place to party, let me tell you what. Except for I've definitely pulled it off a time or two. When my parents went to Mexico, I had a pretty big party here, and how it didn't get rolled, I have no idea. There's a note on that guy's door. Okay, here we go. Taking the old left on bent grass, one of the weirdest names of a street ever. Oh, I need to park on the street, okay. There's my house right over there, you can't see it. Or maybe you did. I don't know. I can't. I couldn't see it through the lens of my camera. Oh shit! It's really hard. To, it's actually, it's really weird because I'm normally really good at driving with one hand, but apparently I'm not when I'm holding a camera. That's not my house, by the way. I'm just turning around. And that guy's visiting from California. How nice. Not like it doesn't really matter to me at all. I'm gonna park on the side of the street because my mom goes to work before I do. So, yeah, there it is. Good old health one. It's been our license plate for a long time, even though it's not mine. So I gotta get all my shit together. Hold on a sec. So I gotta unplug this little little Javorski lane here. If my camera starts pointing down at just the ground for a little while, wow, it looks like there's nobody awake right now, then I greatly apologize, but I have some stuff that I have to carry in with me, so this is gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, tight fit. All right, here we go. I may have to whisper a little bit just because I don't know if these guys are still awake or not. Better yet, is my little charging port for my... What the hell is that thing? Is it in my... Is it in here? Oh, there we go. Okay. I was trying to figure out where my charging port for my iPod was, and I definitely found it. Or not my iPod, my iPhone. I don't have an iPod because I got... I uh, left it out at Matt's house for, like... I don't know, like two weeks, and the battery died, and it apparently like got so cold during the winter that it literally like froze all the circuits. So that was kind of weird. And now I don't have one, but that's okay because that's what iPhones are for. iPhones and iPods do the same exact thing. Okay, didn't want to show my lockbox key because then you guys know how to break into my house, even though none of you live here. Hello, Mother. Okay, let's just drop all this stuff here. I don't need it right now. Okay, let's go walk into the kitchen. She said that my stuff I need to look at was in there. Oh, yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, we're going to take this upstairs with us really quick. Let's go say hi to my mom. Hello, Mother. Say hi to the camera, even though nobody can see you. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. Well, no, they can kind of see you. And who's here with you? Huh? No, it's just oh, camera. Just oh, yeah. Precious, precious, precious. Your dad has been sick ever since he got home. Yeah, I, I figured he probably would be. Long day for him. Okay, well, I'm going to go work on this thing here, so. Night, Mother. Oh, does it make that weird beeping thing? Yeah. It does that sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. 
No, not at all. It it does that every once in a while. Okay, here we go. Let's get down to business. I've been waiting for this thing for a while. You guys are going to be really excited for this. Huh? Night, Mom. Hi. Sorry, that was my cat. Okay, let's head upwards. Turn the light off there. And away, whoa, away we go in the dark. Try not to trip up the stairs. Even though I'm probably going to do that, and I'm going to make an ass out of myself, and it'll be really funny. Okay, whoa. God, my house is the darkest thing in the world. There we go. All right, here we are. Everything's all good in the hood now. Let me set up nerve center here, because that's apparently what I call my room now, even though it's not really important to do that. So, all the 11 minutes you guys have been sitting here in suspense, trying to figure out what the hell I'm talking about, let me use my trusty cross necklace to open my package. So, pretty much, I've been waiting to do this for the last, like, probably, I don't know, year or so. Last, Dece uh, last December, I had wanted to do this. And so, here we go. What I got in the mail, the magic, the magic of my life is now here. If I can get the thing out of the box. There it is, my friends. The awesome HD PVR so that I can record stuff off of my TV there. And now the floodgates have opened all the way. So what this means is now I can start doing Let's Play series off of my consoles again. So now my PS3, my Xbox 360, the Wii, pretty much everything that I have now, I can now do Let's Play series of that. And it's all going to record in in HD, um, and then I'll be able to... Uh, that means I'm going to have to probably, you know, touch up my Pinnacle Studio skills again. But yeah, this is this is very exciting. I've been waiting to do this for uh, over a year now. I probably theoretically could have done it at any point last year, but I've been really frugal with my money. So now that it's done and I have it in my possession, we have some... We have some things that we can do. I actually went out to GameStop the other day and I bought the uh, Devil May Cry uh, entire collection in HD. So it has one, two, and three on it. So I'm going to uh, probably at one point or another do a series of that. I also, from uh, GameStop, I bought, um, if that'll focus at all, apparently it's not going to focus for some reason. Uh, Alright, whatever. It's Dante's Inferno for uh, PS3. I've been waiting to do, I wanted to do a series of that a long time ago, but then all of a sudden my stuff wouldn't work. I can also do Max Payne 3. Oh yeah. In case you're wondering who that little beautiful piece of Ace is, that's Leah Michelle, and she's the love of my life. Okay, so, is there anything else in here? Nope, just some weird packing stuff. Alright guys, this is, oh my god, I'm so excited for this right now, in case you couldn't tell by hearing me talk about it. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to kind of you know, tinker around with this thing and see, you know, get it all set up and then do a little bit of work with it. So, um, ironically enough, I did just the other day, I finished up all the recording for the last few episodes of Fear, Perseus Mandate. So that series, in essence, is now complete. It's not finished yet as far as me uploading them all, but that, that Let's Play series is now finished. So there are now so many options that I can do. Uh, as far as videos are concerned, I'm going to be doing a couple of co-op Let's Plays with Lige. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for that for a long time. Um, and just other things. I now have a much larger library of games that I can play. I don't, have to, I don't have to dig through the ranks of things on my computer so heavily to try to find something to do. So I, I'm so excited for what's going to be happening on my channel in the next year or more. I, I, I literally have a list just a laundry list of games that I can do now. So, hope you guys are ready. And uh, that's what's going to be going on. So, I'm going to mess with this, and I'm going to go to bed, because I've got work at 11, and I haven't really got a lot of sleep this last week, so that's what I'm going to be shooting for. So, um, uh, for, the, for those of you that decide to stop by and watch this really long 14-minute video, I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys are excited as I am, because we're going to be having a lot of fun with this when I get it all set up and everything's adjusted the way I want it. So, yeah, you guys take care. This is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for uh, kind of spending a nice 15-minute chunk of my life with me <laughs> and everything else that goes along with it and meeting my mom in the dark. My dad was definitely been asleep. So, yeah, you guys take care, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.